intro thing because we don't know how to do that around here. It is almost December. Definitely holiday season. I mean, look at my life. Obviously, a lot of us are going to be going on vacation soon. I thought I would share the top beauty and products, things, the things that I pack with me when I go away on vacation. So everything from bathing suits to the products that I bring with me, kind of like my staple pack. And I thought I would show you guys what I pack with me. I already said that. <laughs> so we're just going to get straight to it because, again, intros, not my thing. Okay, cool. So the first thing that I always pack with me are swimwear. So this first piece is from Zafool. It's a really cute um, kind of triangle top with a little, honestly, let's just call the segment. Let's see how Meet Zen describes things. It is so flattering. It has an underwire underneath. So it really gives you the support that you want. Nothing you can't wear around your family, but also cute enough to wear next to your boyfriend, you know what I mean? And then the bottoms are cute. They're a little bit cheeky. I think this color is really nice. It's like a gray, a bluish gray. I think it looks really good with the tan. Not that I ever get tan, but. So I also picked up the exact same set in a royal blue color. I thought it was so pretty and luxurious looking, the color, you know, royal blue. And when I find a good, set of swimwear or you know a bathing suit that I really really like on my body I will definitely pick it up in numerous colors so picked it up in a royal blue and then the bottoms are the exact same a little bit cheeky but what I love about picking up bathing suit as Zaful is that first of all they're super affordable you can find any single style that you want I found that they're very on trend with you know the Instagram brands so when you see something online that's like way too expensive. You can always count on Zaful to have a very similar option. I also picked up this really cute star set from Zaful. It's this light blue with white stars. I find that this style as well is so flattering. It's the one that you just kind of tie on. And then the bottoms are super cute too. They're not as cheeky. They're very comfortable. The material's great. And they're pretty true to size. I'm generally a small anywhere else and the smalls on Zaful fit me great. So make sure to check the description. I'll put all of the bathing suits down there as well as some other really cute pieces that I found on Zaful. So I got you covered. Thought I'd show you one more that I picked out from Zaful that was so cute. It kind of looks like a t-shirt, but it ties at the front. It's definitely not a tanning bathing suit, but it's just like a very cute Instagrammy bathing suit, if you know what I mean. It's white, it has like a very cool textured material. And then the bottoms, the same material. I just thought it was such a cute, trendy swimwear, and that's what I mean. Like Zaful has such trendy, cool pieces as well. And again, so affordable, so you can't go wrong. I'll be bringing these with me to Mexico. So moving on to products that I always bring with me when I travel. The first one would be Bally Body. It's 100% natural tanning body oil. It leaves my skin feeling so smooth. I credit every little bit of tan that I ever possibly get to this bottle right here. Must have for me. So the next product is definitely a newer product for me, but I fell in love with it when I got it and I know it's going to become a travel essential for me. It is the Saturday Skin Daily Dew Mist. And basically it's a hydrating face mist. I've never been a fan of face mist, but I don't know what it is. I guess now that it's winter, my skin's definitely a lot more dry. So maybe it's just been getting the job done and I've been loving it, but it doesn't feel too wet. It kind of just soaks into my skin. And I know when I'm traveling and I'm out in the sun all day, this is definitely something that I'm gonna wanna spray on my face, whether after I tan or after the shower, just to keep my skin hydrated and soft and yeah, it's great. So the next product that I always bring with me, just because when you're on vacation, you're definitely showing your legs and showing a lot more skin. It is the Vita Liberata. Vita Liberata? Vita Liberata? Guys, please. I'm fog. It's the body blur. So essentially, it does what the name says it does. Kind of like a tannish, bronzy lotion for your body. I love to use this on my legs, especially when I'm showing more skin at dinner, on vacation, when everyone around me is like a tan goddess and I'm from Canada. It kind of accentuates your tan a little bit, brings out definition as well, so it makes whatever area you're putting it on look so much more toned as well. So it's just a winner in my book. The next product that I always bring with me when I'm on vacation are the Way Treatment Mask. So I know I spoke about these before. They come in packs of eight. They look like this. I'm gonna leave them on for five to 10 minutes, I believe, and they just repair your hair and make it feel, you know, super luxurious. But I actually love to put this on while I'm in the sun tanning. So when my hair is wet or, you know, after the whole chlorine, salt water, I like to think of this as protection for my hair. Another favorite product that I know I've mentioned before and you probably, you know, have seen all over my Instagram, 
um, is the Wave Finishing Cream. So I love to use this while I'm on vacation because my hair gets very frizzy in the heat, unfortunately. Well, I love the sun, my hair not so much. I put this on my ends as well as kind of my roots to tame any frizz and love it so much. So speaking of frizz, another product that I love is the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. Again, I know I spoke about this before, but I always travel with this. I basically put this on my ends um, before I blow dry my hair as well as after or when I kind of brush through my hair the next day and you kind of, you know how your hair like separates and gets frizzy? Kind of just like tames everything and keeps it locked in. That's all I'm going to say because I know I spoke about this before, but always 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 travel with this one so obviously on vacation i like to keep my makeup very simple and very light so i've been loving the glossier stretch concealer i find that it's so buildable and it's so soft and it just looks and feels like my skin i also use it to spot conceal pretty much everywhere i've had it for so long and i still have so much left there's so much product packed in here and again it's so little and it's so cute and i put little eye stickers on it so Love this. Another product that I love is the cloud paint. So I know I also spoke about these before. I'm very loyal to my products. The shade Puff for me is amazing. It's basically a really, really bright baby pink. And I just like to put a little bit on my cheeks to kind of bring out my tan when I travel. For my brows, I love Glossier's Boy Brow. I have it in the shade Brown. And I kind of just comb this through my brows. I don't think it's waterproof but it also doesn't run when I'm in the water, so it's just an easy product. I don't need a pencil, it is tinted, so when I brush it through my brows, it kind of just gets the job done really quick. I love Balm.com, you guys know that, but I find that on vacation too, my skin gets dry when it's in the sun, so I put this on my lips while I'm tanning. It doesn't have SPF, I don't believe, but again, my brain kind of tricks me into believing that I'm protecting my lips while I'm in the sun, and it tastes like birthday cake, so, you know, win-win. Another product, not Glossier, is Benefit's What's Up Highlighter. It's basically a super shimmery champagne kind of cream highlighter. I find that on vacation I stay away from powders. I really like the cream, you know, dewiness makeup, if that makes any sense at all. I put this on my inner tear ducts, I put it underneath my brow bone, on my cupid's bow. I like to even use this on my body when I'm wearing a strapless dress or shirt and kind of put that on my shoulders or my decollete, you know keeping things glassy. So that was pretty much it for makeup. One thing that I always travel with as well, especially on vacation, is my Polaroid camera. I got this for my birthday about two years ago and I'm pretty sure I broke it. But I love this so much. I find that today, obviously, when you're taking pictures on your phone, you know, you can take it again and again until you get a good one. With this, it's just one shot. It captures something in the moment. Um, I love it. I actually have a wall in my room full of Polaroid pictures from different travels and different like events with my friends and just or you know just from being at home love my Polaroid camera and last but not least obviously when you're on vacation you need a good book or two so I have my little books that I'm reading right now I love the you are a badass collection and I also picked up the subtle art of not giving a beat we're keeping things PG around here. Final that vacation is such a great time to obviously unwind and de-stress, but also get re-motivated for when you come back home and get back to it, you know what I mean? Definitely recommend. Again, I'll link everything down below, but I think that is all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you kind of like this, you know, what's in my travel bag, what's in my suitcase kind of thing. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. I definitely want to hear from you because I'm here for you. But again, thank you for watching. If you're heading somewhere fun this winter, let me know. See you there. Maybe not. But see you in the next one. Bye.